Yeah, yeah. Gotta move in the spirit. 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 Right? Because if that's what Christ was teaching, then we gotta see it. So you gotta see what actually love is. Alright, go ahead, read. So get down to the one verse six. Bring it out! Love. One more time. And, and this, this is, is love. love. And this is love. Read on. That we walk after his commandments. That we walk after his commandments. But now, not everybody can, but we can we, There is nobody on this earth that can follow the commandments completely. Okay, how many commandments are there? There's 10 commandments. Come on now, sis. Come on now, sis. Now, I'm going to tell you this. Now, you're telling me. Are you gonna, wait, hold on. Says, what what the greatest of these is love. You're telling me, and first and foremost, there's, there's actually way more than 10 commandments. There's a lot more than that. But the problem is, is that the mindset of Christianity teaches that there's only 10 commandments, and those simple 10 rules, you're telling me people can't follow those 10 rules? One of them is thou should not steal. You're telling me if I walk in that store, you if you walk in that store, you can't stop yourself from having the impulse to steal something? Okay, that's one. Do you Have you murdered someone yet? Two. Do you, so you got two commands you're already keeping. Do you honor your father and mother? You don't honor. So every day you just tell them, and screw you, dad, and F you, father. That's what you say? That's the one. My father's dead. And okay, I I'm sorry to hear that. Hey, my brother. My okay. brother, the so spirit when of your Lord just puts something on me, so right? So when you're in the presence you of your father and your mother, the spirit of your you're Lord telling me you just straight up, there you go. Then I have so to share with you guys, okay? okay? This is very, cool. this is very There's important. already three commandments. Hold on one second, Elder. Okay, so there's already three commandments to keep. And if I keep going, for the most part, you're going to be keeping all of them. So the problem is, how can people, how can Christianity teach us? With, no, let me say this, let me finish this last statement. How is it right that Christianity is teaching us that we can't do these ten when a lot of us just walk around with the mindset to do it? Go ahead. Okay. However, when Jesus came into this world, yes. Okay. He says the old has been abolished. That's okay. it. That the, the the veil has been broken, and we are able to enter into the holies of holies without having a priest without having somebody to do sacrifices yeah. or anything like that. He says we could, he goes, and the greatest of it, yes, follow the Ten Commandments, but the greatest of these is love. Thou shalt love each other, okay? Not murder each other, not look at each other because of the color of our skins. Because you know what? Nobody knows I'm African by looking at me. But guess what? I am. I have African blood. You understand? Nobody knows the book. Oh, automatically they think I'm 100% Spanish, but I'm not 100% Spanish. Do you understand what I'm saying? But you should not judge anybody by the color of the skin. You should not judge anybody by their by their beliefs. Everybody has their own beliefs. So now, sis, I, I don't think. You I think we're deep in a conversation. We're talking about the commandments here. We're not talking about but race. Love we're talking is about the greatest of all on, commandments. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. No, keeping the commandments is love, and love is the keeping of commandments. Because right. if I love you, I'm not going to steal that phone in your hand, right? Exactly. But that's the commandment in the Bible. If I love you, I'm not going to molest your children. That's the commandment in the Bible. Right. If I love you, I'm not going to murder you. That's the commandment in the Bible. Right. It's, all over, it's, it's going over all the commandments. But simply simply love, keeping the... No, 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 you know what it is? Hold on, sis. No, no, no. Exactly. What it is, brother? What it is, sis? Is that what? Exactly. You do it in reverse. You okay. say, if I have love, I'm keeping the commandments. No, it's you keeping the commandments is how you're showing love. Right. Because right. love right. is action, right? Yeah. It's love is action, right? Yes. So it's through your actions of keeping God's commandments, that's how you show him love. Give me John 4, 15, for, uh, 15 and 14. There you go. 14, 15, 14, 15, 14. 15, 14. There you go. 14, 15, 14. Yeah, yeah, 15, 14. Yeah, Let's see according to the Bible. Yeah, Listen, sis, if you want to deal with that, no problem. We can read it for you. No problem. Because you know what? Ultimately, you know, sometimes we get contentious and stuff like that, and we may raise our voice. But all of this oh, is in the sense of love mind. with our people. We came out here and love and come after our people. Yeah, John to the 14th. Wait, 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 wait. Don't say that, sis. You shouldn't be. No, because God doesn't need defending. You mean Isaiah 58? <laughs> <laughs> no, God doesn't need defending. Wait, 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 wait. You see, now I got, I got to pull out my Bible. Read that Isaiah 58 and 3. Read 58 and 1. 
Holy Spirit, once you preach the truth, the Holy Spirit has has a way of manifesting itself in you. John to the 14. You know what? Yeah, read that verse, and I got something on that. Read that. John to the 14, verse 15. Bring it out. If ye love me. What did Christ say? If ye love me. One more time. If ye love me. If you love me, read on. Keep my commandments. One more time. Keep my commandments. One more time. Keep my commandments. Say, if you love me, you have to keep these commandments. Now, you said there's no time to raise your voices? Come on. Now, are you familiar with the time in, in the New Testament where Christ actually took a bundle of sticks and beat the people and chased them out of the temple? Now, is that wait worse? Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, you remember now. Now, the thing is, is that, hold on, hold on, hold on. But there's a point. It's not about why he did it. The point is, is, is that worse than raising my voice? Yes. There you go. No, so no, the, the no. thing is, why would the most have a problem with you raise your voice over his own son beating people? Read that scripture, man. The book of Isaiah, chapter 58, and verse 1. Bring it out. Cry aloud. Spare not. What about the Bible say? Cry aloud. Spare not. Now, that's why I have, I have him say it at a max 10, right? As loud as possible. Because the Bible says, read it one more time. Cry aloud. Spare not. Cry aloud. Spare not. Read on. Read on. One more Lift time. up thy voice. Let you speak after you finish that. Read on. What does it say? Lift, Lift up thy voice. voice. What did the Bible say? Lift, Lift up thy voice. voice. Lift up your voice. Read on. Like, like a trumpet. trumpet. Like a what? Like, like a, a trumpet. trumpet. Now, if I blow this trumpet, people are going to be able to hear it all the way from down there. That's how we're supposed to teach this Bible. It's like this. With your mouth. With the chauffeur. And people down there can hear that. That's the way the Bible is supposed to be taught. What I was no, 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 I shouldn't argue with you. You shouldn't argue with me. Well, no, that's that's what I'm talking about, raising one's voice. So you mean okay. like debating Fight. each other. But remember, right. remember, Excuse Christ me, debated come. the Pharisees. Uh, okay. Yes or no? But what did he say? I want to, 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 I want you to, wait, sis. You okay, wait, sis. Wait, 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 wait. You open the hold door. on, hold on, hold on. Excuse me, young lady, can wait. I share something with you? Wait, hold on, brother. Hold on one second, brother. Brother, hold on one second, one second, one second. Uh, uh, sis, are you from Puerto Rico too? No, no. I'm not. I'm Dominican. Ah, Dominican. I should have got it right. Sorry. Yeah. But sis, you know what? Yeah, sis, did you get a flyer? No, I have my church thing. No, no, no. The church? This ain't teaching no church. What? The church? Wait, sis. Yeah. They got ten in the Old sis. Testament and one in the New. Sis. The oh, church is not a location. Jesus Christ the bring to the people. Hey. Yes, but it's also a hospital. Love you. Can you do something, man? Every time. Shalom on family, this is your Captain Ainar from the Light of Zion presented to you the Lord's Passover on April 21st, Sunday at 7 p.m. in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. The Passover dues are $200 for a family of four. Any additional persons will be $25 for each individual. For couples, it's $150. That means you and your ribs. For individuals, it's $100. And children under 7 years old, will be free if you have any questions our contact information will be in the description box like it says in exodus 23 15 none shall appear before the most high yahweh empty let your light shine before men shalom hallelujah when them players came they pleaded it